Now we're going to pair a Somfy motor with a Somfy Satua remote. This is a five channel, so make sure you're on the channel that you want to be on before you uh, get started with this process. The first thing you might need to do is wake up the Somfy remote. This just requires a bunch of uh, presses. I've already woken this one up, but if you find that it's not responding after pressing and holding, just press it four, five, six, seven times in a row until you feel it jog. Once it stops jogging, it'll be woken up. Then we're going to go ahead and press and hold the motor we want to pair. We get a jog, and now that we're on channel one, we get a pair. So now channel one will control this, but it is in program mode. In order to get it out of program mode, well, we got to program it. So this is our J Geiger, what I like to call a finial. It's the motor ring. This goes right over the top, only allowing the uh, RF wire to be exposed. Reinstalling the shade is the same way as it went in before, except this time you want to put a little bit of zipper ease right onto that female idler. Draw it in counterclockwise, and then release. You can spin the motor cap, and it should draw that RF wire right in. So now it's wrapped all the way around the motor, and it's a little less visible. But you can see that it's still a nice finish. Now that I have the shade installed, time to start with operating. I'm hitting down, the shade's going up. So in order to change the direction, hold the my button until it jogs once. Once it jogs, then down should be down and up should be up. You can go ahead and get it to your upper limit. We at Jay Geiger prefer roughly about an inch, just the hem bar sticking out. That looks pretty good. You can give it a little tug just to make sure that it's snug on the tube. With the Somfy, hit the my and down simultaneously and that'll set the top limit. You want to run it down past the ground or the bottom of the sill a little ways just to ensure it's on the tube snug. Then you can start working your way back up. I like to take a cell phone, just something that I can have in that room that will always be the same, and I'll run it all the way down until it touches the phone, jog up once, once it's off the phone, then I can hit the up in my buttons. Now that is top limit set, bottom limit set. Now I can hit the my button once, it'll stop, and then hit and hold the my button. It'll jog and that'll take it out of programming mode. Now we're going to add a wired RTS Sonfy motor to the same scenario. So I'll have the same remote controlling both the door and this window here. The installation is exactly the same. Then once you get down to the crown, you gotta make sure that you line the ribs up with the holes. Once the motor's in, find out where the power port is. Power port's right here, so I'm gonna go up with it. You might see a little spark. It's not a big deal. It does happen. That lets you know there's power. There you go. And then face the programming button to where you have access to it. And obviously, once again, with an exposed system, you want the wires tucked away in the back. You always want to start with a little bit of shade, just in case it rolls in the op opposite direction so it doesn't slam against the frame. To start the programming on the RTS battery powered, I put it on number one. Now to do the wired one, I'm going to hit the same button until it goes to shade number two. So. This controls nothing right now. Let's go to the motor. Now that we're on channel two, 
I'm going to press and hold the program button or pair button. Jogs once, go to the back of the remote. Now this remote and this motor are paired together on channel two. So once again, up is down, down is up, hold down the my button until it jogs. That reverses the uh, rotation. Get the motor into position. For the top limit, you hold down in my. It'll hold the limit. Once again, we want to roll it out a little bit past go so it has natural weight on the tube itself. You can roll it down to bare tube if you prefer. Now to set the bottom limit, you hold up in my. Now the limits are set. You can hit my to stop it. And to get it out of program mode, hold down my for one jog. Now this motor is set up to channel two.